What's up guys, welcome to another video where I'm going to teach you some awesome magic tricks. Today we're going to do some tricks with a sharpie. These tricks are so easy to learn. All you need is a sharpie and you'll be able to amaze people just like that or freak them out, whichever one you prefer. Now these tricks are super easy. They do need a little bit of practice, but by the end of this video, you'll be able to do amazing things like change a sharpie uh, into a Rice Krispie box. Just like that. How cool is that? Okay, I'm lying, but still watch to the end of the video. It's really important. It helps me get views and make more videos. So guys, let's get into it. Let me teach you a few magic tricks that you can do with a Sharpie. 10 magic tricks. I'm not sure how many, because I haven't edited the video yet. So we're just gonna take it, and I'm gonna start teaching you magic with a Sharpie. Now guys, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, because it does really help me. You better do it, because I know you always listen to YouTubers say that, but you're not doing it. You're gonna click that button now. You're gonna click it now. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. It's fine. I'll teach you the tricks with absolutely no reward, and you're gonna have to live with your conscience. So here we go. 10 magic tricks, depending on how I edit, with a Sharpie. Here we go. All right, now for this first trick, I'm gonna tell you how to take a Sharpie, squeeze it, and make it vanish just like that. That looked cool, huh? Now before I teach you how this works, remember to subscribe. Guys, I'm trying to get more subscribers than Gary V, because I'm hoping then he notices me. I'm a massive fan of him. You know, maybe me and him can someday become best friends, grow long blonde matching hair, and start our own rock band called the Gary Vian Nurchucks. So here's how the trick works. Basically, you need to learn a move called the flip stick, where you flip the pen like this. So what I'm doing is I'm holding it with my middle finger, uh, index finger and thumb. And basically I'm just flicking it by pushing my middle finger inwards. Now you want it to hit this part right here. You don't want it to go too low because then you might actually see it uh, stick out or something. So you basically want to hit this level. It might not feel very well hidden from this side, but from the front that's very well hidden. Now this looks difficult, but guys, I'm just oversimplifying it. It literally is just that. So you just literally pull in with your uh, middle finger. Now also you don't want to do it like this because then they can see. So you really need to just be here. So you're either straight in front of them or you're tilted a little bit to this side, to your left, okay? So the reason for the move is because then you can pretend to take it while actually just doing the flip. But how did I keep my hands empty at the end? Well, I'm gonna show you that now. But first, let's just uh, make sure you got the move. So basically, it's just the flip. Um, the reason is it happens so fast, but you don't wanna do that, because that's what everyone does, and it just looks unnatural. What you wanna do is you just want to relaxingly take the pen and vanish it. So this hand relaxes, and you don't come over the top, because then they can see you maybe do that. You're coming in from the side, and just kinda like you're doing this, you're just squeezing, that's the best way to make it look really good. You also don't wanna do it straight out in front because they might think, well, how did that whole Sharpie fit in your hand? Doing it a little bit tilted, you kinda of get that beautiful moment. But at the end of the day, it is just a flip and you just pretend to take it and there you go. Now, to make it completely vanish, uh, you do need to wear uh, some sleeves, preferably some loose sleeves like a suit jacket, um, but basically then what you're gonna do is something called sleeving. So what happens is when you do the flip move, your uh, index finger is gonna shoot it. So basically it's just gonna shoot it like a, like a finger snap, right? You're gonna shoot it underneath in, not like that, underneath just like this. Now that looks difficult, but it's actually super easy. It's literally just this. You're gonna to have to practice that a little bit, and then it's just the shoot. Now, of course, you don't wanna do this in front of them. Hey, watch the pen, watch the pen, you know? You have to show it, uh, you have to have the attention here. So the bigger motion covers the smaller motion, because while they're focused here, I'm doing the move. So I'm squeezing, squeezing, I still have it held right there, and then once I do that, I literally shoot it underneath my sleeve. You can actually see it, but nobody's gonna be underneath you when they're watching this trick. All right, so this is one of my favorites. You take a Sharpie cap, and you make it disappear, then it goes underneath my elbow, then you put it back on the pen, and this time the pen disappears and goes behind my ear. Oh, you didn't see that coming. You wanna see that again? No way. 
well, you could just rewind, but in real life that joke always hits. All right, so here's how I do it. Uh, basically, I do it when you're not looking, as simple as that. So you take the Sharpie cap, you vanish it, but what I'm doing is I'm just putting it into a palm position, which is right here. So that way I can show my hand kind of empty, um, but it's literally just hiding. And the way you get into that is when you're holding it here with your fingers, you're just pushing it, you're clipping it into these fingers to push or roll into here. And then you're just pinching with your thumb and this flesh here. So you'll be able to do it, but even if you did it like this, it, it wouldn't be that bad, but I would strongly suggest just learning how to roll it into your hand. So you're gonna take it, you're gonna do this, it's gone. Then I say it's underneath my elbow, and I do this to force them to look here, because it's all about misdirection. And then once I say elbow, so everyone's looking there, you gotta say it, otherwise everyone's still looking at the pen. I say underneath my elbow, I take it like this, so that's like producing it, and all I'm doing is just obviously pulling it uh, from out of my hand to the top like that. So I say underneath my elbow, and this is the moment where I'm putting the uh, pen behind my ear, just like that. So I produce, and now when I come back with my hand, I don't do this. Hey everyone, my hand's empty, I don't do that. Okay, once or twice, that's it. So as I come down, I show the cap, all the attention is here. I pretend to put it on, and I don't do this, that's not how you put a cap on. I literally kind of like twist and have a bit of, a bit of difficulty. You don't want to go like this, but you do want to just do that, and then I say, watch the pen disappear. Now doing this, the pen disappears, is also good, but try to have that theatrical finger for finger, like that. And then, this is the best moment. I had to kind of hide it from you watching on the camera, but in real life, everyone's looking here, and you can just go, it's behind my ear. You don't even have to be tilted away and then tilt towards them. You can do this to a group, and then just be like, it's right here. The next trick, I'm gonna show you how to take a Sharpie and change its color, just like that. So with this, it's the same move. Basically, you're gonna need two Sharpies, um, any two different colored ones, preferably the colors should uh, not clash, so you don't wanna change from like uh, red to a little lighter red, they might not notice it. So basically what happens, this pen is gonna get this move going, you know, the flick move. And then this one is hidden with the flick move in the left hand, all right? So you hold it like this, and then when you flick this one, this one gets pushed to the front. So it is very simple, you're just grabbing it with your thumb and middle finger as you pull with your index finger. I'm being very complicated here, but once you do it, you'll see it's actually super easy. Again, you don't wanna do this like this, because then they might see the pen there, so you're tilted a little bit away from them. So that's it, that's very, very simple. It's a super visual color change. And uh, yeah, let's get into trick number three. All right, so here's another trick you can do. Oh, hang on. <coughs> ah, good stuff. The secret is just holding the Sharpie like this, um, basically with your thumb on this side, these four fingers in the front, and then you're not really shoving it in, as gross as it looks, you're actually just making your fingers slide up, and that quickness really looks believable. Uh, you could also do the ear, the mouth, the nose, but I just try to keep it uh, short with the nose and the mouth. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So here's another cool trick where you take a Sharpie, squeeze onto it, and it changes into a mini Sharpie. It shrinks just like that. How cool is that? So for this, you're gonna take a mini Sharpie, uh, which you can pretty much buy anywhere. You're gonna hide that in finger palm like this. So it's just relaxing there in your hand to the side. And then you take a large Sharpie uh, like this, and then you're gonna do the flick and sleeve move uh, again. But this time, instead of just taking it and vanishing it, I'm actually coming up with the little Sharpie and just grabbing with that, shooting this into my sleeve uh, as I grab and just show that it shrunk. All right, now for this trick, you're gonna take the Sharpie and you're just gonna do this and make it vanish. So this one's pretty simple. Uh, you're gonna use a technique called lapping. So what that is, is literally getting it thrown onto your lap as you push it. But you need to make it look like you're picking it up. So everything's about making it look natural 
like this. Now that you know what to expect, you're looking for it, but basically it's just these two hands come in, I push, 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 it falls off the table onto my lap. As I keep coming up, pretending I'm grabbing something with my thumbs, and I just do that. Notice that this wouldn't be as good as uh, this. So you're kind of holding it that last moment and making it like turn invisible. There you go. Now, interestingly enough, the new Sharpie markers actually have a ballpoint. If you listen closely, you can actually hear it. There you go, it's like a solid block of steel. Um, that's strange. All you're gonna need uh, is a little steel ball like this, a ball bearing, whatever you want to call it. And um, basically this is just getting hidden in finger palm. So right there between your fingers, naturally to your side, you then take the Sharpie, you say, can you hear there's a ball inside? And then you pull it off and when you're throwing, you're just relaxing your fingers in the throw like that. And that looks pretty good, especially when you do it on a table, because then you're going to hear that go which is pretty awesome. So here is trick number, I have no idea where we are, but you're gonna take a, a Sharpie like this and you're gonna uh, push it into the cap, just like this, and pull it back out. That'd be pretty cool. This one, what you're doing is again the flip move, but you're holding it uh, right out in front, like this, and then basically you're just gonna go, well you're not gonna go one, two, because then they kinda know what's coming. In magic, you don't really want them to always know what's coming. So you're just gonna go, pa. So as I do the flick, I push in. Now th this is all about theatrics. You don't want to do this, uh, although that still looks good. You want to go pushing it in and then struggle to kind of pull it out. Now when you pull it out, you're just using, uh, you're just pulling it back again, like I said, where you pull with your uh, index finger and extend with your middle finger and thumb, right? You'll, you'll feel it once you're holding the Sharpie, but you can also kind of use your ring finger to just flick it up, right? So that's what I do. All right, so for this trick, I'm gonna show you how to take a coin and change it into a Sharpie like this. So this is pretty easy. You just need a coin and then the Sharpie is hidden uh, in your hand in the same move as the flip stick. Uh, it's just right there hanging on the side. Then when you take the coin, you're holding it between these fingers, your middle finger, index finger, and thumb. Right, because what's gonna happen is the coin's gonna fall. So that happens by just releasing your thumb or picking it up a little bit and the coin will fall. Now doing this at the bottom, they're gonna see the coin. Uh, so just practice that in front of the mirror to get the right distance, I would say about hip width or hip height. And what's gonna happen is the Sharpie is gonna come up. As you drop that coin, you're just doing this with your hand. So I'm putting the Sharpie right here, rubbing it like that. And then you can even hand this to them by just taking the Sharpie, relaxing this hand off to the side. So it's gonna look like that. Bring this up to them. Uh, obviously I'm limited in the screen, but you can just bring it up all the way, hand that to them, and you're safe. All right, so for this trick, we're gonna take the Sharpie, I'm gonna take this little piece uh, right here, and we're just gonna give it a little bit of a pull until that completely breaks off and then you can just reattach it like that. Pretty cool. So for this trick, you're gonna need an extra piece from a Sharpie. So you can just break the piece off of an old Sharpie marker and that's gonna get hidden right there in finger palm. That's what it's called. You can just hold your thumb on top, that relaxes to your side. Now you show them the Sharpie and then what I'm doing is this is uh, obviously in finger palm between my ring finger and middle finger. So from the front it looks normal. I come up, I grab this to show this a few times. That draws attention to it. Now they're standing in front. So when I turn the Sharpie towards me as I come in front, they won't see the turn because the bigger motion covers the smaller motion where you just like take it. So it's just a twist. Now this thing's pointing towards me so they don't see this end anymore. So as I come up, I take this thing, I pretend like I'm pulling it off, obviously I'm covering at the top with my fingers to make it look like it's still attached and having a hard time. And then to just get a sound when it breaks loose, I actually come back to the Sharpie, to the Sharpie's original thing here, and I just click through that, right? Just like this, all right? And I show the loose part. 
And now to reattach, I go back to finger palm as I come up, twist the sharpie, and just do that. And then this hand just relaxes to the side, and I hand in the sharpie. They're going to want to have a look at this, which gives you all the time to pocket this, but you can stand there for a little while with it uh, before you ditch it. Um, yeah, that's a pretty cool little trick. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll be teaching more magic on this channel, so make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, I really appreciate every single one of you, I'm also on TikTok, I'm also on Instagram, I post videos there every single day, that's actually what I do most of the time, uh, but I really want to get into YouTube more, because I know there's a lot of people who just want to learn magic, and I think uh, breaking it down into these things really help a lot, so be sure to subscribe, got some great content coming. And I'll see you in the next video.